Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about a bit of a taboo subject, and that is working for free, and when and if we should do this. As a photographer, at some point, you would have been asked to do something for free. The general starting point is a family portrait or your mate's wedding, but as you progress, there's still people who go, oh, would you shoot this for free for us? We don't have any budget. Could you do this for us? Whatever it may be. Now, as with all my good advice, this doesn't come from me. This comes from my girlfriend, uh, who is far wiser than I am. There's only two reasons to do work, ever. One is that it's a cash cow. When I say a cash cow, that is that they pay you enough money to not care. And the other is that it's good for you. And in the context of photography, that is probably portfolio work or networking. So let's take some examples of this. If Pepsi came up to me, no, I'm gonna put a lawsuit with them. If a local restaurant came up to me and went, could you shoot my 20 dishes for my menu? We don't have any money, but we'd love you to do it. We'll give you some food. I have to go, number one, is this good for my portfolio? No, it's not. Number two, is it a cash cow? Definitely not. The answer is no. If a huge brand come up to me and go, we've got this shoot, we've blown the budget. Maybe not a huge brand because they wouldn't do that, but we've got a shoot, we don't have any budget left, we've made a mistake. You know, this is our agency, we've spent on this photographer, they've completely messed it up, we're in real trouble, can you help us? You look at it and go, is that work something that I would like to use in my portfolio and that would help progress me to be able to speak to bigger clients? If yes, we do the job for the personal reason. Are these people, people who might work with me in the future if I save the day? If yes, we do it. If it's not any of those things, so for me, for example, if it was a environmental portrait job, I'm not gonna take that on because it's not gonna help my portfolio and it's not a cash cow. On the flip side, if it was an environmental portrait job and they're paying me 10 grand a day to go and do five days work, that is a cash cow and I'd be taking that job. Now this is always easier said than done because when people are asking you for things, you feel the pressure and the burden and obviously they're trying to get more out of you than you want to give at any given thing. It's the same one we're trying to charge, we're trying to charge more, you know, Everyone's trying to get a good deal out of these things. So it can be frustrating, but always step away and just do a simple test. Is it a cash cow? Is it good for me? If it's not one of those two things, you don't do it. Let's take these YouTube videos, for example. Are they a cash cow? No. Are they good for me? Yes. Not because they're good for my portfolio, but because they're good for other aspects of my business. And they're also good for me in terms of developing new skills. I've learned video editing, I've learned a very bad bit of audio. You can probably hear how bad the audio is. If you know how to fix it, let me know. Um, but I'm learning from this, so it's good for me. Now, if a company asked me to do these for them, they'd be getting far more out of it than I'd be getting. So if they said, can you come and film for us? I'd be like, well, no, because I can do this for me for free. And then I'm gaining something. If they said, we've got some money for you and it was a cash cow, then I'd say yes to that. It sounds very simple, it is very simple. What you need to do when you're being asked these things is just, if it's on the phone, just go, let me have a think about it, I'll get back to you. And just step away from the situation, just really simply break it down. Is it a cash cow? Is it portfolio work? If it's not, give it to someone else. I hope this has been useful for you. It is some of the best advice I ever received and hopefully passing it on to you with these too. If you're liking these videos, you want to know more about commercial photography and the business of photography, do hit subscribe, do hit like as well. It really helps the channel out. It lets more people see these videos, which is good for all. See you later. Bye-bye.